Oniomania is the compulsion to buy things. As game collectors, I think it goes hand in hand. Hi, this is Eric. We're just a bunch of video game nerds. I'm Chris, Skip Mask Games and Accordions. I'm Dom, and I've been gaming for 30 years. And I'm Brady. Games were better on floppies. So join us as we search all throughout the state of New Jersey trying to find video games. We are the Gaming Onyo Maniacs. So on the topic of the porn tent... <laughs> this is Steve. Hi, Steve. Whoa. What's this? Am I on camera again? Yeah. How long has this been? God. Hey, all of you. Almost boom, a year. Boom. boom. Almost a year. Almost a year. It's because this f***er left me. He abandoned me. I'm an evil human being, I'm sorry. And before he left, he didn't even have the common courtesy to give me a reach around. Well, maybe we'll involve the guy that, uh, the bathroom attendant who sings the entire time. We'll get him on you. That, that guy was fine. I don't know, last time I was there. I haven't been there in such a long time. He had a good voice on time. Well, not that long. He sang some James Brown, you know, you hear that while he's Oh, what? Well, let's see. Who is the babe that talks over the intercom? She's been nice since I was a kid. It sounds like an old woman. She's been nice since I've been. It's been the same. I think it's. I think part of it's a recording at this point. I want to believe it's real. The gaming audio maniacs never had their proper send off. This is the gaming audio maniacs, and I guess this is the last ride. Oh. One last time, the in the. Or show me. Smasher, uh, Gaming Audio Maniacs, episode something, uh, the downfall of Western civilization due to the fact that I shaved my beard. Home. We're at English Town Flea Market where it all began. Taking it back. Old school. And we're gonna prove why Pat the NES punk left. Being back at English Town is probably one of the more nostalgic things I've done on that trip to New Jersey. It's basically where the Gaming Audio Maniacs got their start. Now dealing with English Town itself is a cesspool of shit when it comes to video games. Try to get Eric here. But he's uh, a bitch. Eh, yeah, but he just bought a house. <laughs> so he's totally justified in not he's being here. He's a, he's a house buying bitch. He's made Hi. His... Hi, Eric. I love Eric. you, Eric. I'm honorary Eric for the day. Steve is honorary Eric. Although he's not Jewish, so that's fine. He's, he's made his wife very happy. <laughs> With his big <laughs> and a big house. I don't know. I don't know if it's that big. <laughs> I see a lot of editing going on and censoring, and I don't care. I didn't say this episode was safe, kids. This is bullshit. Bull. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> For the spraying all the chemtrails. All right, so let's look at this guy now. Not a lot. Not a lot. A little bit of food. I don't all right, let's see if this day goes on. It was like really cold outside. I don't know why. It was like in the second week in April, and it was 30 degrees out there. Usually around that time, April-ish in New Jersey, there's something called spring, which apparently hadn't happened yet. It's... Oh my god. Saban, who first brought yeah. over. Yeah, wow. Power Rangers. Protect 600. I think I used to have one of these back then. They sold these back in the 90s. Yeah. We're gonna, have to, hmm? we're gonna have to hit this as one again. Yeah. So. Skylanders. You want a Christmas Trek spectacular? Uh oh. I'm kind of. I'm a Christmas dude. I still have the original one put away in mine. I still have them. But it's only one. Peace. <laughs> I have a lot of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle boys. And uh, Michelangelo as a detective with the uh, surprise gun, you know, in the trench coat. Uh, the Samurai Turtle. I can't remember the rest of them. 
Not bad. So, so far, two complete box Genesis games, a buck a piece. I'm kind of regretting walking away from those uh, Godzilla movies. Kind of. We'll be back. Uh, so we'll am I. Well, well, uh, if he wants a dollar a pop on them, I'll put, because the cases were good, yeah. we didn't check the VHS tapes inside them. Yeah, about that. We never went back to see if they had the Godzilla movies. How much are the laser discs? Yeah, five bucks. Bro. Five bucks? Yeah. Oh, these are. I didn't realize these were laser discs. I thought yeah. They were, I thought yeah. they were. I thought no, that was laser discs. I didn't, I didn't pay attention when I first saw it. That was released on laser disc. Laser disc lasted a lot longer than you think. My favorite version of the Christmas Carol. Oh, Second the Alistair favorite. Sim. Second favorite one. Babe. That's yeah. Barry Lyndon. You know what? To you know, to a film fan, that's typically considered what the best, the best Kubrick movie. And most people haven't seen it. He actually had to get the lens to shoot that. He used all natural candlelight in in the indoor shots at night. He had to get a lens from NASA. There were only <laughs> two made for <laughs> the Apollo mission, and he had to get the other one in order to shoot the movie. Oh that's insane. And Chris is a wealth of bizarre knowledge when it comes to random things, like this movie. He's not making that up. I had to Google it. He was right. I don't know if you can pick that up. That's some frost there, folks. End of April. Thank you, Chemtrails. <laughs> I think this episode's been renamed Thank You Chemtrails. My dad's gonna look at chemtrails on YouTube and find this video and title of that. Oh, <laughs> and then if your dad finds it too, tell him, you know what, Steve said, the moon is also hollow. <laughs> it's a ship. It is a ship full of aliens. Or possibly a projection put up there by the Soviets to hide something that they put there instead of the moon. Possible. Yeah, truth. folks. <laughs> Hashtag truth. Open your eyes, sheeple. Hashtag taint wreckage. <laughs> Because I'm going to wreck that taint. That is my mannequin. Taking it home. It's fitting in my car. I'm going to strap it to the roof of my car. Can we put a wig on it? Oh, uh, yeah. So many mannequins. Like, what the f*** is with all these mannequins? The second spot we've seen that had mannequins. Now, are you going to charge anybody to, you know, cuddle in bed with the mannequin? When we get closer. That's a good point. Okay. And now, a life lesson from Chris. This is called the English Champ, you know, uh, preschool special. <laughs> this is how you teach, you know, our five and unders a lesson. Don't touch what don't belongs to you. You know, they try and skitter behind the table where the sewers are. You know, they get bit. You get bit. I think I think our lovely English Champ flea market is falling apart. <laughs> All right, a few of those a few of those descriptive words need to be removed. Lovely, first off. You know what I think they should do? They should oh, Steve, remodel. It's what? got a twin. It's got a twin. Oh, son. Check out the. This is where I would ask you to take the second camera out. Jesus, chemtrails and mannequins. Literally, that's all that English Town has to offer. You come here often. So do I. Okay, but just take a closer look. Again, again. Yeah, same guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Like you literally just twist know. this. It's like mini palm. Yeah. That's what it is. And it's portable palm. The, okay. ba the batteries are only going to light up the whole LED. Okay. Yeah, the timer. And you twist it to get it. Go yeah. It's really old school. Yeah. Oh, look, yeah, that's the yeah. Definitely. That's what I grew up playing. Handheld because I'm old. Because I'm old. Both. Yeah, and then. That was the Lico. <laughs> and the baseball one. The baseball one. Oh, my God. Oh, man. <laughs> that baseball one. <laughs> got two more over there. Two more. Two more. Fine, maybe. I, I wonder if I just put my hands around this throat and be like, swear to me. <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> Would it be? That's a bitch who owes my money. Dude, <laughs> Steve, like your best part, just the bottom half. Oh uh, no. <laughs> no. Be no. Everybody hurts sometimes. 
Everybody. Puppies. Is that it? I don't know. It's not the blown tent. Chris, now you were looking for an industrial sized pot. I was looking for, for an industrial sized pot. For reasons disclosed, you were looking for an industrial sized pot. And that basin. Two, one for drainage. Yeah. Yep. One for, and it's stainless yeah. steel. Mm -hmm. You know, I could put. Oh my god, so much in there. I think uh, we're did talking I, did about I say it. out loud? I think you did. Uh oh. Chris truly frightens me sometimes. Let's be honest. My nickname is derived from a serial killer, and this dude creeps me out. And I love him for it. Oh my god. Oh, thank god I might have caught that on camera. They even have a winter edition. He's happy. He's found his. I can't. I, I can't it's be April. here. It's April. It's all that since November. I can't be here. This is too much food. This is too much. This, this is too, too much, much bad of Jersey. Food. I'm guessing too. No, no, no. It's where I'm at. Do we have taste to keep Yeah. Holy crap. My mother-in-law bought like 30 boxes of this shit that was expired by like a day. <laughs> Freeze it. So no, it didn't last. <laughs> Dirty pool. Oh God no! Oh, what's on it? Oh God no! A pool. A picture oh, of a pool. <laughs> you are a braver. You are a braver man than me. By picking up that picture. But picking up a random picture from the garbage at English Town is probably one of the more dangerous things you can do. I'm looking at a PA head right now. It's I guarantee a fender, we can get you a Tez ticket. <laughs> it's a Fender though. <laughs> And it's one of those all-in-ones and it's just it. Ooh, fire. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, fire on the fire. Morgan Fire Department. I've never used one. Speak. There's reasons. There's always What's up? reasons. Want to pimp out your car? It, look, it looks totally fine to me, like... I mean, I took I'm, I'm fine well, with those two. Though, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but that was not that Yeah. Well, the bundle, because you buy me everything, I just go for the game. You know? So what do you think of well, it's two for six and the one. You didn't see anything else that you wanted? No. Uh -huh. See what we'll do. you can do for the three and then. What can you do for the picture? Oh, five dollars and pieces. Let me get my five out. Hold my phone so I don't drop it. So on these Sega Genesis games, me and Chris bundled it up. I think I bought one game and he bought two more, which lowered the price collectively for the both of us. It is still an amazing idea to bundle games. See if they'll do a bundle deal for you. I don't care if you're with friends or you're flying solo. Always, always try to bundle. Oh yeah, uh, I am wearing eyeliner. I got done Rocky Horror. I was Frank, sexing it up. Here's some footage of that Boosh. Fighting golf! And you bought Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Holy sh! You finally own Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. Lee Trevino! Yep, some bitch had been talking about Lee Trevino fighting golf for over two years. He finally bought it. I guess because I was there. You never know when you're going to need a pocket full of condoms. How much on yours? Uh, just yeah. that's the price. Oh, okay. CDs. Oh, the old EGMs? There's three boxes worth of this. How much for each one? Um, it's a dollar each, but if you want to buy the boxes, it's easy on. Man, that was a killer deal on those EGM and GamePro boxes full of old school EGM and GamePro magazines. It's just literally, my wife would kill me if I bought all three. No, I'm serious. She will kill me. It's way better than mine. Yeah, you got a rental copy. Got here. Yeah. Sorry, Dub. No, I'm blocking you. You are not blocking me at all. I'm looking too. 
Oh, just randomly. Helmet. I was like, what? Yeah. That's amazing, boss. <laughs> that could be my DJ. <laughs> Damn, like that man. Makes sense. Great. I think I should pick it up. Yeah. It's a good game. Yeah, it's no, good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I've been going. I saw the original for the Saturn put away. Uh, I'll take this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> now. More mannequins. Seriously. What is with the mannequins in English town now? Although Chris has a few ideas on how to use said mannequins. And you know what you do? They're hollow plastic, most of them. You just trim away between the lace and you mount the right in between there. And as far as you're concerned, you know, it's it, it, real to me, real enough. I'll go up to the table and be like, all right, realistically, what are the chances of me mounting at this man for you? Now, you can also, you put a hole in the back and you put the hose from a wet dry back through and down so you don't see it. Yeah. On a very special episode of Gaming Audio Maniacs, how to f mannequin with the reach around. Speaking of which, can you hold this camera real quick? You said it when I left, I didn't give you a reach around, so there you go. Oh, yeah. Reach around. Reach around. Finally reciprocating for the first time in a five-year relationship. Where'd it go? Is this the good one? Where you can punch Wayne Gretzky? Probably. What year was it that you could punch Wayne Gretzky? Oh, I think this one, maybe. Crap. That's the one I want. Oh, I don't want... Was it 95 or 94? 94, 95. That's complete, dude. Seriously. Chris doesn't like Wayne Gretzky. Like, for real. I don't know why. I just have uh, Mortal Kombat 2 over there. Oh, cool. It's a little bit more money than something. Okay. How much are you going on on these? Actually, it's five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah, that's what I'm And how much are them? Two. These are five bucks a pop? Not bad. What is that? Oh, okay. No problem. That's that much a little more, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I picked up a nice stack of Game Gear games from our favorite guy. Uh, thank you very much. We've got 4 for 10 Dynamite Heady, Tales of Adventure, Asterix the Gaul, X Men, The Hulk, and I'm missing one. It's in here. Oh, where is it? Hold on. Let's not drop everything. Sonic Chaos. X Men Game Master's Legacy. Another X Men game. And Sonic Blast. Sonic Blast. So, not too bad. How much did you pay for it? 20. Not bad. From our favorite retailer in the entire flea market. There's. Seems to be running low on stock, but he knows the market's dying here in this flea market. It's been dying for a while. Oh, forgot. NHL 94. Complete. With the trading cards. And all the advertising and some tag thing and more crap. And I can't remember if this is the one where you got the punch Wayne Gretzky. It was that or 95. I can't remember. It's the only reason why you wanted it, right? That's the only reason I want the, you know, good chances I'm probably wrong.
That's like a five inch needle going right into your ass for tetanus. Yeah. Start them young. Start them young.